Let's turn the crisis into an opportunity. This has become a familiar motto this year. It appeared as an opening comment for many teachers' online class. It also expresses our strong, deal to get, strong will to deal with coronavirus. Today, I will talk about my experience that I turned the crisis into an opportunity. To talk about me, I got a chance to live in Boston for about two years. And of course, I went to the school near my house every day. Thanks to my personality, I could get well along with most of, most of the friends, and I could make lots of memories with my best friends, Ashley, Miles, Gracie, and Gabriel. I really enjoyed the time with them by doing apple picking, eating lobsters in Cape Cod, and so on. My crisis takes place in Korea during the adoption after I came back from Boston. I felt that I was way behind than other friends, especially on math, since I only memorized multiplication table. And one day, my teacher made us to stand up and present some math questions answer. If it was a number, I could have confidently answered it, but there was a math symbol that I haven't seen before. The friend that was right in front of me said, Budungo points right side. However, I couldn't hear it clearly, so I just said, Gorungo points left side. Yeah, I know it's really ridiculous. However, that was my best at that time. After the incident, I always smiled and tried to be kind to everyone to get along with them. At first, life being nice was quite peaceful. However, as time flew, quite many of my friends thought I'm a pushover. They did some fun, funny makeup on my face, and the, during the school trip, they literally didn't care about me. I thought, I'm being nice to everyone, but why aren't they? The more I became nice, the more they ignored my emotion. However, the friends that bullied me don't have any fault because I was smiling. I, don't, I didn't show my emotion at all and couldn't refuse anything that gave me stress. One day, when I was in sixth grade, my mom told me that my teacher said, Sonia's problem is that she's too nice. That was the first time that I noticed I noticed being too nice can be a problem. It was really a crisis for me. The words that my teacher said made me confused and sad because I got what he meant. I knew that I was smiling too much and thinking smiling as a duty. My habit, which was smiling no matter what others say or do to me, made my life become extremely boring and tiring. Above all, since I always tried to conceal my feeling, I became a girl who don't know her emotion. Isn't it unbelievable? Yeah, but I really did. To get rid of the uncomfortable discord between my true feeling and the fake emotion, I just discarded my true emotion. After I heard the, the sentence from my teacher, I cried, I cried at night for a long time and decided to stop being too nice. However, I couldn't stop asking myself, would my friends still like me even if I don't always smile? Since I used smile as my weapon to adopt in a new and difficult situation, it was hard for me to be less nice. Smile was a tool and my identity that I could rely on during the adoption. As you can see, smiling had a different meaning for me. For me, it was not just a way to express emotion. After I hurriedly decided to stop having a fake smile, my mom handed me a book called Life Without Limits, written by Nick Vujicic. Among the great sentences, Concentrate on what you have, not the ones that you don't have, was the sentence that helped me find who I am. Since then, I started to concentrate on my strengths. 
The main reason why I thought I turned the crisis into an opportunity is that I finally could express my emotion honestly. Think different. The way to think, the way to, way to turn crisis into an opportunity was to think different way. If I tried to develop my weakness to prevent myself from being embarrassed, I don't think I could love myself, my friends, and teachers so much. By concentrating on my strengths, I could get confidence. Imagine that you're standing on a land covered with clovers. 99% of you might try to find four leaf clovers. However, did you guys know that three leaf clover stands for happiness? In other words, happiness is all around us. We should realize the value of strengths we have and try to develop them. Today, COVID-19 is changing our life by affecting important fields in our society like education, work environment, and so on. Above all, although humans are social animals, it is setting us apart and even made our society to emphasize the word untapped. Can you feel that COVID-19 is testing our mind-setting skills? Let's show it how wisely we can turn the crisis into an opportunity by different ideas. Thank you for listening.